So, what is Nuke? Well, Nuke is a compositor. And a compositor is a piece of software that lays images over each other at its simplest. And here we have that image laid over that image. And through a few masking operations and color adjustments, we land up with the composite. Now, as far as functionality goes, it isn't in principle too different to something like After Effects. We have foreground, background, have a masking there. However, After Effects it uses a sort of a sandwiching operation with lots of layers on top of each other there and we see the result of a composite of all the top layers looking down I suppose at the layers like that. Whereas Nuke and node-based compositors like Nuke work in a very different way. Let's go full screen on some nodes and I'll show you what I mean. Right, a node is can be it's uh, in this instance it's a file a, a read in um, um, a photograph in this instance over here it's a, an image another jpeg here we have uh, a kia uh, removing the background here we have a merge a sort of a layering operation taking in two files, a shape here and uh, the result of this key. Here. And on and on we have color operations, other color operations, uh, changing size operations, all sorts of things. Now this is the interesting thing. Let's just move this down. Okay, now here feeding into this merge operation we have two feeds, the shape and uh, an image. Now feeding out we have two other operation, uh, two other branches. Now one branch is acted upon via a set of filters there which feeds back into the other branch. That sort of complexity, that sort of flexibility is absolutely beyond the capability of something like After Effects. Well, perhaps you could say nothing's beyond After Effects, but in order to achieve it, you'd have to land up with a file that was almost impossible to manage and easily comprehend. So those are its those are its the roots. That's one of its root strengths: the the ability to branch out and feed back in in complex, flexible way. And although node-based compositing might seem strange when you first begin it, when you realize just how flexible it can be, it can become extremely addictive. Now the other thing of that can be said of Nuke is that it's very, I suppose, um, it keeps you close to the actual mathematics of compositing. I'll show you what I mean. If we open up a text editor here, we can drop a nuke file, there we go, now let's just zoom in here. Now this, let's zoom back, this file that I'm working on here, that is the same as this one here, and is the same as this here. And you can see that what we've got is something very simple. It's just a bunch of text commands. You can in fact almost read it. You could see, well, okay, I've got some values here. Perhaps I can play around with those values. Perhaps I can understand what's going on in this script. Nothing there seems beyond comprehension. You can, using the same text editor, open up an After Effects uh, file. 
now although some of it is quite clearly comprehensible a lot of it is gobbledygook it's clearly not meant to be read we can extend that let's lay down something called the multiply operation and set that value to 1.7 okay now I've got that I'm copying it command C I'm opening up a new text file paste that in and here we have 1.7 let's change that to 1.48 and copy all of that Command over there and just open it up there and what have we got 1.48 so you see you're never far from being able to edit the root values of any operation in a lot of consumer software what is happening under the hood is conveniently you're kept away from now that serves you up until a certain level of experience but once you get exposed to the inner mathematics of what a composite is life can come bit, bit, for a while a, a lot more complicated uh, and you start looking at say things like multiplications and pre-multiplications and all sorts of things like that and you think well I didn't become an artist to do this kind of thing but once you get used to that you actually become a stronger artist so that is the strength of Nuke it keeps you close to what compositing fundamentally is and it it's amazingly flexible